But I, I did the, the green screen exercise and it was okay. Like I didn't have problem. Okay. So you can send that. Mm, I don't know if I... Yeah, it's somewhere, but it was okay. Like I, I play with it a bit, but uh, I didn't have a problem with it. Okay. It, so, it, it, yes, so we'll start with this rigging and we have so many layers for that. So I have created the mouth also separate, uh, eyes separate. So each eye will be separate over here so we can animate it. Oh, there is just one thing I wanted to ask you is when you do the character, hmm. uh, when it comes to the junction, you make it like circular. Uh, you see, like when you're at the knee point, you yeah. don't do like square. You do like a circle. Yeah. This and one. Then when you move it, yeah, when you move it, it's smooth and it's nice. Yeah. My question is, how do you determine the the curve? Because it works very nice like this, but how how do you know which curve? Put? Because when I saw you doing it, you were like, okay, I put the curve like this, and ta -da, it worked. Doesn't how <laughs> why it makes the curve like good? Like, um, are you doing like a perfect circle? Are you trying to like what? Yeah, how do so, you this? So the main thing is when you are cutting this, so it should be like proper circle, and this mm -hmm. pivot point should be exactly in the center of that. Okay, so you're trying to make a, a real circle, and yeah. you're making sure that the. Um, there, that's the key, that's the key stuff, like the, I don't know how to call this, this little dot. It's the... So if it is rounded and curved over here, so when I'm rotating, it will rotate nicely. Otherwise, uh, when you do the cut, it won't be proper. So now if I just see that, you get that nice arc. Okay. And then you do the same for the, um, uh, for the torso. Yeah, same thing. Uh, here mm -hmm. also we have this, so for this. Uh, for this, I am just leaving that we can also do for that because this uh, t-shirt will be is on the top of that layer. So it is mm -hmm. uh, not going to uh, affect much of it. So, but here you put the key, the key movement one is not in the middle of the circle, it's lower. Yeah. It's so, by the pelvis. So for this, if I just go for R and if I just check that, this is what it will be. You should not put it like a bit lower. No need, uh, because it is uh, this. This will go a little more down. It depends on the how uh, long the shirt is. So it is still here only. So we don't have to make it that curve shape or for this. Ah, so you you normally you make it like bigger. Yeah. And it goes under the beige pants. Yeah. So uh, you can also use this uh, with a skin tone over here uh, like this. Mm. which goes below the pant and uh, this will be on the top and then you can make that as a pelvis. Yeah, you can make a square behind with the color of the skin, so yeah. uh, move, okay. Okay, that was my question. Yeah. And then where do you put the key for the shoulders? Like if you click on the shoulders, where is it? Yeah. Here. Yeah, <laughs> maybe the, uh, the torso, like the one in the middle. Okay, so you put yeah. it nearby the sacrum? Yeah, so okay. here it will be. So when you are rotating that and all, it will rotate nicely. Okay. 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 So the pivot point, you have to check it. And uh, uh, once you load that plugin over here, so whatever the plugin I just uh, shared you, so you can just uh, go to this option window. Once you install mm -hmm. that plugin, you can just open this and here you will find Duke Basel. So it will be inside this window and click on this Duke Basel plugin. So as soon as you click, it will open this window for us. Okay. So first time when it is loading, uh, this is what we have. Uh, okay. So that's the one you, you used in the, yeah. in the video you sent. Yeah, so we'll be using this and click on this. Uh, first option is for the rigging. So first option is rigging. Second is for automation. If you want to do some kind of uh, walk animation, uh, ready-made animations are there. 
So first thing mm -hmm. we will just attach the bones for it. So click on this rigging button and it will open this menu over here. So we can just see that we have uh, so many uh, joints over here. So this is auto rig which will automatically rig for the character but before that we need to set the uh, joints. So we have this humanoid. So first option is we can just uh, click on that humanoid. So click it separate. Just mm -hmm. undock. So undock this or I just want to keep it here in this side. Okay, so I'll just click on this humanoid button, click on that and as soon as I mm. click it will start creating the joints for us. So. Ah, okay, because <laughs> when I watched the video I was like, how do you got all the joints? <laughs> so that's the leg. So spine it will create, then it will create uh, the leg, then hand, then arm. Ah. So it just starts creating it over here and it has some naming conventions also. So uh, S means this is that what we have is called for joints. So it starts with S structure and this is forearm. So all the things are uh, written over there. So we just see that this is the legs part mm -hmm. and this is the arms. This is the spine. This part is all spine. So we need to connect to the pelvis and all this. Thing. So but each time it starts with the backbone and then it goes the arms and then it goes the legs. Yeah. Like each time. Okay. Okay, so now we have all this uh, joints over here. So we can just shift this joint towards left. This mm -hmm. is your right. This is again left. Well, can you tell me again what this S mean? S wheel, S tiptoes. Yeah, so these are the joints. Okay, but why did we they use S for joy? Uh, it is it automatically take for the uh, S is a symbol for that uh, uh, joints whatever these joints are there. C is a symbol for control. So when I rig that, it will go for C. The control will go first. So the layer name will be whatever this S and hash is there. That is all joints. So you can just see that there will be so many layers and it is already named it. So this blue hash which is over here that will be bones and joints so you can just say that all this okay so they don't write left or right like you just have to guess which yeah you which have to select is... on this and it will show which is this they haven't written there so it is s type and we need mm -hmm. to parent this with our uh, shape layer because when i'm moving this our the shape layer also should move it move with it. So we need to parent that. So first thing what you have to do is you have to arrange all these joints properly according to the leg over here. Mm -hmm. So whatever the foot is also there, you can also break that foot into uh, two different pieces. So you can yeah. also create one more over here for two. Oh, I see what you mean. Like you break the black part yeah. into. So you can break that into uh, toe, toe tip also. So we can just break it. For now we didn't do that so I'll just use uh, the same thing right now. So first thing let's fix this joint with this uh, leg. So this is which leg is this? This is right. Yeah. So we have named that right thigh, right knee, right foot. So I can just select all this and what is this joint? So let's select this joint and this is over here you can just see that. So this is thigh. Calf, foot and toes and here I need to select all this right right so right thigh right knee right foot so I just selected both the layers now and what we can do it over here is we can hide all the other layers so first we'll just fix that so here we have an option called solo so if I click on this mm -hmm. it will show only that layer Okay, so this solo uh, option is there, so which will show only the layer which we have selected, and we can mm -hmm. come out of that because there will be so many layers and it will be confusing. Uh, so now we'll just start adjusting the point of this. So this is the pivot point of this over here. Now to fix this properly, what I'll do is I'll just draw this ruler guide to fix it properly over here, so I know where the point is over here. 
for the second bone also so second bone you select this again draw this guides so when I'm uh, fixing the joint I can place it properly now I can just select this joint place it here mm -hmm. and select the second joint place it here so this okay. is the point I uh, fix it so exactly where the pivot point is there I need to fix this over here so for this one choose let's select this layer and let's fix it at this point so that is what the foot is so I need to check that you can also check it over here so where the foot pivot point is there and uh, here so exactly at this point you can just use this guides mm -hmm. and then you select this joint and place it exactly at that so this is done and uh, we need to see this this point which is missed over here let's select this I don't know why it shifted it looks like everything moves yeah so I think here yeah, now it is fine now everything is fine I can just move it mm -hmm. So this leg we have done and I can I don't need this lines uh, for us I can just remove this lines okay, so this leg is done now this right thigh I can just select all this three and this hide this so I, I just make come out of the solo layer now I can now I can just see this now for this leg also we need to do the same thing so uh, again uh, this is S thigh 2 so it is named as only as 2 over here so toe, toe tip also is there you also have this oh, for this you can just see it over here. so everything is selected now and this is in a uh, different direction so that I need to adjust it over here so select this 3 and again here also so this is left thigh and make it so no. now this is done now I need to make sure that I adjust this pivot point fix it one by one select this layer fix that now move this out and select this one So I'm selecting the joint so if it is coming in between you can just move it and then you start adjusting it over. then click on this joint again place it now this time it is little uh, reverse so this has to come forward now so I just need to work on this part so this is where it is so again start adjusting this layer at this point select only this joint fix it over mm -hmm. and this has to go forward and this joint also has to go forward and this point will be over here so where the heel is so this is it. okay so what you need to do so this is done now again for the arms I have to do the same thing so uh, first we just fix that and then we'll just link with each other so unlink this now whatever the solo layers were there I need to select all these joints now we have to connect the same thing with the arms also so this is left right and this is left so select this left arm and it is S2 and this is what our arm is this is left left shoulder elbow wrist yeah. make it solo again now I need to do for this so again select the shoulder fix the joints properly select this move it up uh, so sometimes the character will be small or big depending on that we have to adjust these bones also so we can 
make it small by just moving this joints and last is this wrist so select this joint push it out select this wrist yeah. again and this will be the front toe tip yeah so this will be the tip of the finger and we have done with this out height come out of this solo now so you just put them on top on each other you don't have to click on something to the bond uh, I, I will link it now so once we fix that yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, now we have to link the shape layer with the joints so that is the second stage which we'll be working on so first we just fix this yeah i think after we use the plugin and uh, you, you 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 link them all together which one uh, uh, if i remember well after you use the plugin and you all link them together yeah, yeah. okay so we have arm arm tip and this time this is right arm so the naming is important so if you don't name it uh, all these layers it will be very difficult for you to uh, know which layer is what since i named it i know this is the right arm and uh, if it is not named it will be very difficult uh, when we are doing the rigging yeah we do mess <laughs> mm, you select one too much too. Yeah, so one, one more extra. is extra which is selected i think in this one Mm. Spine tip is also there. This is what. Let's select this and check. Maybe it. arm two. Yeah. yeah, two. Now select this again. Adjust all these lines. Now select this. Start placing it. I think the pivot point of this is little off. Let's fix. Yeah. And here the pivot point, I didn't fix that properly, so you need to make sure that the pivot point of this I bring it back over here and uh, you want to check that how whether it is working fine or not when you adjust the pivot point uh, you can switch on the stop layer press t opacity you reduce it so you know where that arm is over here now i don't think so this will be proper place for this you see that it is little bit of offset so you need to make sure that you adjust this properly till mm -hmm. here Yeah, so this will be a proper place and I'll just make that proper circular shape of that wrist and adjust this pivot point more in the center of this. Yeah, so this will be the proper place. Now let's start adjusting this. So uh, reduce opacity, check that proper circular formation is there or not. Now we can just start adding this. Now fix this. System. Now we'll work on the body part of it. All these lines. And we need to work on this body, pelvis, and uh, all this top part of that. Okay, so now whatever the layers we have it over here, so you can just see that there are so many layers. For the mouth I have a separate layer, for the tongue I have a separate layer. So all these layers, eyes, eyebrows, everything has, hairs is separate. All the things has to be parented with this face layer. What? So face layer. So ah. every, everything will be parented to the face because when the head turns, everything should move with it. Okay. So we have all these layers. Now I'll just select this, uh, all this mouth layer and I'll just parent. So here we have this parent pick whip and click 
with the face. Okay, cool. So when I rotate the head now, suppose if I just press R, and if you rotate the head, all the things should move with it. Okay. So that is the reason I need to parent it, and all these layers, what I want to do is I don't want in this uh, layer window. So there is so many layers. So what I can do is I can make that as a shy layer. So if I click on this toggle and switches, so here you can just see that there is one symbol which I can hide the layers from this. So click on shy and click on this, hide all the layers which shy switch. So you can just see that all the layers will hide inside this layer window. It won't hide from the viewer, but it will hide from over here. So again you click it, it will bring back. So whatever I have made this shy layer, if I click on this, it will hide from this layer. Wait, again? I didn't really got it. Uh, so see, see, there are a lot of layers, right? So what I did is I'll just select all these layers. And mm -hmm. I don't want this. Since I already parented with the face, I don't uh, require this inside this layer window. So for that, we need to hide that. So for hiding it over here from the layer window, we are not hiding from the display. We are hiding from the layer window. So this is the window I need to hide it. So for that, there is one symbol over here called shy. So okay. you need to click on that. So if I switch on this, it is off now. And here also you have one more switch. If you click on that, it will hide all the layers from this. Um, wait a minute. So, uh, so if you're not seeing that uh, switch over here, you need to click on this toggle switches. Oh, and the logo is like a little plant that goes inside or out the ground. It's like a mushroom. Which one? The the logo to use for the shy. Huh. It's like a little mushroom that goes yeah. in and out. <laughs> How did they get? How did they came out with this idea? <laughs> like, <laughs> so once you click on that, it hides. And now we can just work on this uh, spine. So spine and all this. So we have this hip, spine, uh, head, neck, and we have the spine tip. So these are the whole thing which we need to connect. And for this we need to select the face and upper body, neck, lower spine, we have pelvis, over here we also have some belt which is separate so I need to link that with some uh, thing over here so I need to see that and make it solo now it is fine okay so we have the pelvis layer also so this this will go for this pelvis so we need to see where the pivot point of this is over here so this is the pelvis which is over here it's not a bit high, the pivot point. Which one? The pivot, the pivot point is not to be too high. Or uh, for this, I kept it over here because there is a pant which is on the top which will come over here. So pant layer is also there, uh, which is hidden now. So just select this, let's bring this down. And for this, here is the point. So you need to select this point. And just and fix it here. here. Now for the neck, we need to select this point for the neck. And let's select this where this neck pivot uh, for the neck is. So you need to go to the neck layer. Neck, neck. Yeah. yeah. And here it is. So let's start drawing this on this place. And fix it over here. And again for the head. This is for the head. Uh, again select the head layer again. There will be so many layers over here. So yeah, I can see. So I just named it as face and here it is. Up and this will be the top part. This is fine. So done.
Okay, so this is done now, and uh, we can parent this uh, to any of this uh, top part of that, uh, whatever this belt is there. So, if you just want to parent with something uh, for the upper body, let's parent this. Then it was fine. Yeah, so, this is parent with this. And now we have done all this uh, arrangement of this, and now we need to link it. So, to link that again, what you have to do is you have to parent all the shape layers to this joint layer now. Now once I open everything, what happened to this? Okay, there is two more layers of this. Okay. Okay. Okay, so save the file. And now we have to parent uh, each of this to that. So we have this joint now, you can just see this thigh. S, S, so it is all this S2, right? So this calf, two, shoes, toe, tip, this is what we have, heel. And uh, this is our left leg, so I'll just select this left leg again. Left foot, now this is there, uh, let's switch off uh, this over here, okay? Or you can also click it on this, so if you just click it on this left thigh. So for left thigh has to be parented with which layer. So you need to see that which is this joint. So it is S thigh 2 and this is the left thigh 2. Uh, this is also true. So you can just click it over here and you can search for S thigh 2. So there are two options over here. You can just see that S thigh is 1 and S thigh 2. So click on this for selecting S thigh 2. For the knee, it will be scarf. So you do manually each of them? Yeah. To make sure that they are... So it's the drawing which is parented by the articulation. Yeah, so uh, all this uh, shape layers are we are parenting with the joints. So what will happen when I move the joint over here? So suppose if I just select this S thigh 2. Let's go for this thigh. And if I press R, and if I just rotate this now, so it rotates the shape layer as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when the joint moves, even this uh, skin will move with it. Now we have parented all these layers with it. Uh, now we have to parent the right, and which is over here. So once you know that which is that layer, now right thigh will be parented with S thigh. How come some of the articulation don't have parents? Which one? As how come some articulation don't have parents? When you go back to the list of the articulations, some they have none in terms of parents, and some they have parents. Yeah, now uh, whatever these joints are there, that will be already parented with it. Uh, but this is what I am I am doing it right now. So uh, you can just select this S thigh, and this should be S thigh. Knee, mm -hmm. here it is S calf, and R foot, it is S foot. So we are done with this. Now for this upper body and this whatever this uh, spine is there. So for the pelvis, select the pelvis, and here you need to parent with this uh, hip. So you need to search for the hip part of that. So come down over here. So yeah. Okay, so here you can just see that there are a lot of options. So uh, you need to make sure that you don't select this R or N. So you need to select S. S is for joints. So you just okay. click on this S. We have this lower spine. And what is this layer? So you need to see that. What is this layer over here? Yeah, so what this one this? doesn't have parents. Which one? The S. The S, S hips doesn't have parents. Yeah, so S hips is there. Uh, the joints are already parented with each other. Yeah, but yeah. How to, because the hips is the, I don't know how to say, that, the more important, or is the, so that's why it doesn't have parents, the S hips? Yeah, uh, because this is the pelvis, right? From here only, uh, all the spine is connected. So you can just mm -hmm. see the spine too is connected over here. And I think I need to make it up because the spine too 
uh, whatever this shape is there. So this pivot point, I didn't adjust the joint over here. So I need to make sure that I fix that properly in this place. Uh, so we have connected the hips and we didn't connect this lower pelvis. So select on this spline one, click on this and bring it down. So here, this is spine one. Ah, okay. For the second one, spine two. We have this and I need to select this upper body now. So the pivot point, I just need to adjust it over here. And let's select this spine two. Okay, this side, bring it down. And this is the neck. So I need to adjust this properly over here. So face is here. The neck part for this, so this is the face. So I'm almost uh, adjusting that only the neck point. I need to now I have to work on this neck. So select this neck joint and here. Let's fix it in this proper place. Select this neck. So when I move that, uh, all the above joints will move. So I need to make sure that I fix that properly. So this is the head and last is the tip. Okay, so now when we are parenting this, uh, I need to parent it properly. So hips I have parented with this layer. So for the lower body, so this is the lower spine that has to be parented with S spine. Upper body, it has to be parented with S spine too. Now neck, has to be parented with neck, face, whatever the face layer has there, I have to parent with the head. So now this is done. Now we need to work on this arm. Arms over here. So let's select the arm part. S arm 2. And this is our left arm. So S arm 2. Here the joint is S arm 2. So where is our shoulder? Yeah. So L shoulder will be parented to S arm 2. This one to the forearm. S forearm 2. Wrist to the S hand 2. Again for the right, same thing. So it will be S arm. This will be S forearm. This will be S hand. <laughs> so now we are done with all the parenting of the joints now. Yeah. So now is the time we can rig it. So select all the joints only now. So everything you have to select it, select all these joints. Mm -hmm. And we'll go for this dig basic plugin and come down over here. We have something called auto rig. This is the button. So what it will do is it will automatically uh, add the controls for the character now. So once I click on this auto ring, we start seeing that it does all the process. It will try to connect all the joints. It's not a process. It's time. And it has connected all the joints now. You can just see this red uh, thing over here. It has controlled. These are the controls now. This, uh, whatever this red controls are there, these are all the controls and we have all these joints which is connected with it. And it has created lot of layers again. You can just see there will be lot of lots and lots of layers now. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> so uh, this is the controls we want over here and we don't want any of the joints to be seen right so we will select all these joint layers you can just see that all these joints layers and then we got the mushroom thing yeah so we can hide from display i don't want to see these joints in the display as well so i can hide this so all the joints are hidden now and even this so i can just click on this so shy layer this is done and all these uh, shape layers also. I want. I don't want inside this because I'll be animating only the controls. So you can lock, and you can also switch off this. 
now we have this all the layers now we can just select this and and i'll be able to move this with the control wow. Okay, so now it is properly rigged, uh, the character, we can also check it, how it works. So we have the pelvis control over here, so this is the hip control, so uh, if I just want to adjust this down, let's move all this out of this. So you can bend it, you can move this. Like a toy. Yeah. So like a puppet, uh, it will be there. We can do whatever the animation I want once the rigging is done. So we have all the controls for this and we can just see that we have this hand control. So if I select this hand control, there are certain uh, effects or properties of that hand over here. So you can see it over here. So now it is IK enabled. So if I just switch it off, now what will happen is uh, there are two options. One is IK, inverse kinematic and one is FK, forward kinematic. So when it is forward kinematics, what I'll be able to do now, I have individual control. You can just see this. This is upper arm. Wait, what's the difference between I key and I F key? Uh, so F K, uh, when you are using this F K, you have this single control. So with this single control, you'll be able to move the hand over here. Okay, and with I key? Uh, this is the I K. Inverse. Oh. Control. <laughs> So uh, when you are using this FK, so if I just switch off this now, we are inside this FK, which is forward kinematics, and we have this mm -hmm. upper, so I can adjust individually. You can just see this. This is okay. the lower arm. So with the I key, you move the red thing, and with the F key, you move each part individually. Yeah, so we can adjust individually. If you want to adjust the wrist animation for this, you can just see this now. So with the IK we cannot do that. So uh, sometimes when you are doing the animation, you need this uh, FK mode. Sometimes when you are doing this, you might need to do IK. So if the character is jumping over here for this legs also, so of course if I just select this character now, if I move down, uh, so the leg remains there only. You can just see that it is nicely placed over there and it remains there. But if I change the leg to FK, select this, Switch off this IK for this leg and switch off the IK for this leg also. And if I just try to move this down, see this. What happened over here? So it is moving uh, more down and it is pushing the legs also down. Over. We don't want that, so uh, we always want the leg to be in IK. Hands you can do in IK and FK uh, both. But legs will be always there inside this IK. Now if I just select this, you can just see this. So it is much easy with this IK. Now whatever the animation we want to do, uh, we'll be doing with this key frame on. So this. And we can also stretch this arm. So uh, when you try to stretch it, it will break. So you need to be careful when you are animating, you don't stretch it too much uh, over here. So there are some limitations what we need to keep in mind when we are animating this uh, character. So we should not pull too much out. Okay, so now we have done with this uh, uh, thing over here. So if I just select everything, uh, go to beat bezel now. And here we have an animation, click on this automation. And here we can just see there's something called walk cycle. Okay, uh, so if I just click on that, it will do the random walk cycle for me. But since the character is in uh, front view, uh, it will be difficult. If it is a side view of the character, it will be easy for the walk cycle to do. Uh, so it will, since it is a 2D character. So if I do with this, if I just click on this, uh, with this walk cycle, you can just see this now, the character will be moving. But it won't move forward, it will be moving towards left or right. <laughs> so uh, for doing the walk cycle, uh, when you are doing with this uh, kind of character, you can just see this. So it takes time for preview, let's make this preview to half. Let's try this. 
and let's hide all this layers joints and let's clear that now okay so i need to make uh, the character uh, also uh, in this side view when you are making the walk cycle for this because now it is moving towards left and if i change the position of the uh, leg also in this direction it will be there so i need to model that according to that shape now you can just see this is going in this direction okay so if it is a side view it will be good uh, it is a uh, walk cycle which is over here it is not there for uh, the front walk cycle it is better when we are doing the side pose of the character and then we make this walk cycle suppose if i just switch on this layer and if it is like this this pose uh, when you are making that it will be good uh, to make the walk cycle with this pose because little bit of 3 4 for the front it won't be nice uh, when you are animating that walk cycle over. Okay, so this is what we have and this is like a default animation which is there and we can control a lot of things inside this uh, walk so when you have this walk uh, I can adjust different parameters for the walk cycle over here you can just see that walk cycle and what kind of walk cycle you want so here we have different uh, you want the character to dance and walk there is something called dancing walk cycle and I can just give that so it will be like a double bounce walk cycle when you do that let's start playing this it takes time Okay, so this is like automation, uh, automatic walk cycle, but if you want to do manually all these things, uh, you need to give the keyframe for all this manually. Suppose uh, I just want to do some animation for this, just press Ctrl Z to come out of that walk cycle. Okay, so now if I want the character to be waving his hand, uh, we need to animate all this over here. So instead of IK, what I will do is I will just make it as FK, switch on this, so switch out here, here. individual parameters. So here we have the keyframe. So I need to give the keyframe for this, again for this and for this hand and I just want this hand to be up like this this hand also to be up like this over here and here okay so this is the first keyframe which we have press u and i can see that that is the first keyframe so what will happen is i just want this arm to go back after some frame even this will go back even the wrist has to go back and we just want this to be animated over here. so upper arm again just push it down then the wrist and this so I'm just giving the three uh, frames now for this animation let's give like this and this can come more down so this is the timing and we need to work on the timing of this animation so how much time uh, it will go up so I just don't want this much time so you can adjust the timing of this and I want uh, to give some delay between the hands so first this so select all this keyframe and give some variations or a delay overlap so everything will not come at the same time so first the shoulder will come then the forearm 
and in the last the list will come. If I just play this, so we have this animation. Let's see the loop of that how it looks and hide all this. So uh, basic simple animation we have to do manually over here. So there is no uh, automated things. You have to work everything manually. Just select this. <laughs> okay. So we are just animating only the uh, arms now. So now we have to work on this upper body also. So if you want the body to move a little bit up, so we have this hip. You also have the body. So if I just press R and I just want some kind of animation for this rotation. So let it go back a little bit. And then it goes forward. And then he comes to its normal pose. Okay. So for this also we need to give some keyframes. So keyframe assistant easy is. For all the uh, things, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. So one by one part, we'll be just moving it. So let's see this animation, so how the body moves. And uh, later I need to also animate this uh, head also. Okay, so the head also we need to adjust. So when you are animating the head, press R. Even this, so we need to give some kind of overlap when the body goes back over here. So little bit of delay also for the head I will give. So for now let's give the same movement for the side. Also over here. So but then you just need to rotate one piece and then the rest of the body, like if you move only the hands, the Correct. rest of the arm. Uh, which one? So I feel like when you move the hand, the rest of the arm follows, or you have to move the hand and then you move the elbow. You have to the do the keyframe for all this. So you see this upper arm, lower arm, gold. I'm just giving three. For the lower arm also, I'm giving the keyframe. For this also, mm -hmm. wrist also. So for each part also, we need to give some kind of overlap. So when the body is moving, even the head, what I want to do, offset this and right click keyframe assistant easy ease and just little bit of delay so all the parts will not move at the same time let's give some kind of delay for this head also see this okay okay even for this hand now this hand looks too stiff for us so uh, we can also give some movement for even this hand. So what will happen over here? So when the arm goes this side. So for this hand, let's see this, which is this hand. This is the hand. For this also it is off. Yeah, so for this also it is off. So let's select this and give the keyframe for all this upper, lower and gold. Press U. And this is what we have. So at present, so when the body goes back, I just want to move this hand over here, little bit this direction, let's move it, so when the body goes back, little move this over here, just to balance the body, then it comes, even this hand has to come forward, little bit. This again it goes back to its normal position. Not too much. So as a worker. And right click keyframe assistant is is. So I'm just giving some kind of movement for this hand uh, over here. So when this goes and we have this. So play this and check. Let's play this.
Okay, so we can give whatever that uh, animation we want it. Now I feel that this is too stiff. The pelvis part is too stiff, so I can also animate the position for this. Uh, so what I will do is when it is going back, right? So when it goes back, uh, I want to make this pelvis down, hips down a little bit. And here when it comes, again, here it will be going up or here like this, it should be very stiff. Uh, so I didn't like this bend too much. I think it is too much bend. So little bit you give. So you can just type the values also to. So you should not go too much down the pelvis part, and we have it. Okay. So one by one, uh, you you can also uh, shoot some video when you are doing that uh, uh, acting or something for that. So how the body moves, you'll get a proper idea when you check some kind of reference for this. Okay, so even the hip, I just want to move it little left, alright, so I give the keyframe, so here it goes little back. Yeah. Here again it goes forward, so this axis, just to balance this body. Again, it comes back to zero. Okay, so yeah, so all these things. So how the body moves, you need to see and observe that, uh, taking some kind of reference when you are animating. So you you have to shoot yourself acting the same action. So it will take time. So you need to see that video. So uh, what is the part of the body which is moving first? Uh, how the delay is happening inside this head and all we can just see now. Okay. So I don't like this uh, down position of this body. So this is what it is here. So make this zero. Yeah. This also. This. The rest. Of it. Can, you can also play around with this legs also. So when he goes back right here, so the balance is on this leg. So even the foot. So this is the foot control. So I can also give the keyframe for this press position over here. So when the leg is over here. So what will happen over here is it. This also you give the keyframe. So here we have the keyframe which you can do it and lift this leg up. put this leg back so this is what we can just try put it over here little more forward this time little up so you can just do that uh, keyframe so otherwise it will be too hot so easy is now we have this. Let's try and check this. And this one I can keep it little faster. We don't want this much time for this leg to uh, come down. Play and check. So first leg comes down and then uh, the whole body can come down. Okay. Now we can give some kind of arc also when we are doing this leg. So at this frame I just want this leg to go more up, more up over here.
Okay, so for the uh, whatever the legs are there, right? So we also have some controls for this also. You can just see this. There are some of the controls for this as well. So we have the control for this heel. So heel rotation we have, which you can control it. Uh, so when the leg is going up uh, over here, right? So we can also animate this. So what will happen over here is it can go back. So this is the heel. Press U and you can do the animation for that also. So here it can go back like this. And when it is up, the heel can go up. And here it can become zero. So even this we can animate. So right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, and we have this. So we can moment for that. Okay, so you can give this nice uh, smooth movement for this also using this uh, foot roll. So you can give little little movements for this so it will look nice and uh, you can still want to exaggerate more over here. So we also have this spine root. So this is the main control for our body. So if I just press P, position, let's make this back and make it towards left. See, this is, so you have to be careful when you are moving this uh, spine over here, you can just see that what happens mm -hmm. with this. So if I'm moving towards left and right, it is having that some uh, issue with that. So you have to be careful when you are adjusting this. So the balance is on this leg. Uh, so, a lot of controls are there. You also have the shoulder and neck control. So, if I just uh, click on that, press R, uh, you also have this control for this. So, this is the neck. How much you want to adjust? And head control. Okay. So now if you just uh, want to eye, do some animation for the eyes and all, so we have separate layers for that, right? So what we can do is we can open that layers and we need to animate uh, the scale of that or you want to do some kind of animation for the mouth or you want to do some kind of hair animation also. So if I just select this layer of the hair, so open this and we also have the hair. Uh, layer right so we have this here so inside this also what we can do is when the character is moving so if you just feel that some of this hair also should have some movement for that uh, we can also animate this uh, hairstyle over here so you can just select this particular shape layers and open that inside that we also have the transformation so we, you can also adjust the pivot point of this now so you can just see that the pivot point of that hair layer is over here so just want to bring it in this place. Yeah. And I can open this up, attitude of this and we can just see the rotation. So this is the last thing what you will be doing it uh, over here is secondary animation. So rotation, give the keyframe for that. So what will happen uh, for the hair? So when you are animating the hair, Okay. So you need to give some kind of delay for that uh, hair rotation also. So uh, at the starting, so when it is over here, I just want to bring this hair down. So when it is at this pose, right? So just make this hair more down. And when it is down, the hair goes up. And then again it comes to neutral value, so 0. And now if I just want to see this animation of that. 
keyframe assistant easy is and let's check this play okay so uh, i just animated only this one uh, layer of it we can also animate it the different uh, layers so you just need to see that i think here it is too much down so very less movement will be fine for the hair you don't have to bend too much this also it is too much bent so let's start adjusting this very subtle animation we require Let's see this. Okay, so other uh, here also I need to do the animation, but this is what we can have uh, the movement for this character over here. So if you are doing some kind of jump animation, uh, we can also see that different animation will be seen with the same character whatever we are using. So we'll try doing the manual way. Uh, for this and one more design I'll do for the side view of the character where you can see the side view of the walk cycle or okay so, so any, yeah anything anything you have to doubt inside this I have to do it myself because um, <laughs> it's a uh, it's a lot I need to try it myself because uh, at some point, I was just like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm lost between all the files and uh, all the layers. Uh -huh. So I have myself, and then I will come with questions because my brain was just like, eh. Okay, <laughs> okay. so you try it. Uh, if you have any doubts, you can just uh, see the rigging part to do it first. Then we'll go for animation again. So first you practice on the rig. Uh, mm -hmm. Then we go for more uh, detail inside the animation. Okay. Okay. And next class is tomorrow, so? Yeah. You want tomorrow or you want to practice? It's up to you. Uh, as you want. Um, you think you can do it Friday or? Yeah, it's fine. Friday also is fine for me. Okay. Good then, Friday. Thank okay. you for okay. doing it. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah, and don't forget to send me the recording, of course, because... Yeah, I'll send now. Okay, thank you. Yeah, sure. Bye-bye.